So guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a completely different video. It's a DIY custom trainer video. Paint, paint brushes, tape, scalpel to cut around some edges. Don't know if I'm gonna need that or not. White pencil to use as an outline and then some other random bits. And also, just in case this paint is being a little douchebag and not drying, I've got myself a hairdryer because I ain't got the time to wait for paint to dry. I'm freaking out a little bit, guys. I love my vans and I'm about to ruin them. Let me know if any of you guys have ever customized some shoes. Vans and Converse are so easy to do stuff like this with because they're just canvas. So whether it's like taking out the stitching so it's all one color because there's like white stitching on these just drawing on them or uh, painting on them and stuff like that. Um, let me know. I guess it's just a trend, isn't it? It's really cool to see people doing it, basically, is what I'm saying. I've gone round both shoes now with the masking tape just on the sole so no paint can slip down and stain those bits. I'm gonna draw on with my white pencil a rough guideline for where I'm gonna be painting in the teeth. So I finished that little rough template look. Oi, focus camera, focus, focus, focus on me, focus on me. Just had a little thought whilst I was doing this with my shoes. Anyone who is super, super young and they're watching this video, don't just go taking pens and pencils and paints to your shoes. Ask permission before you do this because I do not want to be held accountable when your parents start shouting at you because you destroyed your shoes, okay? <laughs> So, don't blame me, all right? I've got some minute brushes here. Teeny, teeny, tiny ones. Oh, look, there's a little paint thing on it. Don't need that, mate. Got my own paint brushes. I came prepared today. Oh, they allow my painting. Right, you're painting the inside line. Oh, shit. This is gonna go absolutely nowhere. This is like soaking it up like crazy. Oi, I'm liking getting back into my painting. So for those of you that have never even watched my videos before, know nothing about me, some of you might know that I went to uni and studied fine art, but I haven't painted anything since I left. So um, it's quite nice to get back into doing some sort of painting, even if it is just painting trainers and not painting like a big painting, but yeah, I'm liking this. already realised that I've gone about this whole thing in the wrong way. Look. That ain't cool with me. I'm switching up the idea. I'm going to paint everything I need to in red first and then I'm going to dry that off with the hairdryer and then <laughs> I'm going to cross my fingers and cross my toes that I can save it because this is just taking too much time. Right, I'm gonna leave that to dry there real quick whilst I basically just bosh this other shoe. And I spent so long drawing on these bloody teeth as well. Oh well, I guess the point of this video is basically to show you how to do it, but also to show you not how to do it. <laughs> start thinking about doing this video I thought what I could do with these after I thought it would probably be a great idea if I would give these away it might seem a little bit unfair I guess because there are my size of shoe they're a size 8 I think a UK 8 so obviously they're not gonna fit everyone so I don't really know the best way to do it and um, so I'll have a little think about it let me know in the comments if you think it's worth me doing and something you'd be interested in me doing. Let's put it out for a vote. Let's see what you guys want, just to be it. Like, let's just switch it up. Let's see what you guys think. Right, this is a much, much, much better idea. Just filling it all in first. 
Like I said, should have filled it in black first, then done red, then done the teeth on top. It's funny that I'm painting shark teeth on a shoe when I'm literally like, the only thing that I'm properly scared of is being in the sea and like some big old sharky boy is just like preying on me, painting some freaking shark teeth on my shoes. What am I doing? Who came up with this bloody idea? I think the time's come to whip out the hairdryer, guys. Plug her in, plug her in mate. Plug her in for me, will you Barry? Right boys and girls, how are you doing? I've been off camera for like literally 40 minutes. And the reason why I've been off camera for 40 minutes is because, you know what I said about how I wish I painted it all in black first? Do it, okay? Do it, it just makes sense. Every time I touched a paintbrush on this shoe, it just bled into it. I basically had to do the red bit like 10 times with the hairdryer. One layer, one thick layer, hairdryer, do that 10 times. I then went on to paint in the teeth, started to paint in the teeth, because again, I was worried that obviously it would just bleed in. I'd have to do the same thing again about 10 times, which I did. Hence why I've now got the shape of the two teeth on both shoes. Yo guys, you need to prepare yourself. <laughs> I jumped straight into this video thinking, do you know what, it'll be a breeze, I'm semi good at painting, so yeah, turns out I was far too big headed. Prepare yourself, okay? It's actually quite hard to get the teeth to match, especially matching on one shoe, but both shoes, because if you do the teeth too thin on one side, it's just gonna look so stupid if you've got like larger teeth on the other side. I'm happy with how the top layer is looking. I'll show you quickly on this camera. I am now gonna dry these off with the hairdryer. Make sure they're super, super dry because I don't want any of the paint to mix. I'm gonna sharpen my pencil just quick so it's like super fine lines, you get me? Jeez! Did you see that? I almost got flicked in the eye with my pencil. Pencil lead. <laughs> Okay, now for the pied de la resistance. No, we're not quite at the end yet. Now I need to paint in the bottom line in white. Shit, damn, shit, damn, shit, damn. I don't know why I'm so worried about this bit. I guess it's because it's like, this is potentially the final coat, I guess, on this bit. So I'm like, sketch it out a bit. Although it does look a little bit messy and needs another coat. Right, air dryer again. Freaking hell, boys. <laughs> right, wash my little brush and I'm just gonna finish off the outlines now. We're almost done folks, and I'm actually really happy with how these are turning out. So basically what I'm doing is, I'm just going around the bottom white teeth just to really polish off the edges, so it looks like really, really sharp, real nice, you know what I mean? I've pulled it off. We're there, I think I've done it. I've actually pulled it off. 
I've actually gone and done it. Right, I just need to take the rest of the masking tape off. Nice. <gasps> oh my gosh, I thought I tipped over some paint then. Right, a little bit of clean up with the scalpel. Be careful if you use one of these. Scrape that bit of paint off there. There they are. What do you think? What do you think of those? My shark tooth old school bands. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> I rate these and hopefully you like them too. Thank you for sticking with me. Oi, it has been a long old video. <laughs> <laughs> For me it's been long, but anyway, it's half 12, I'm signing out here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already, and I will see you real soon with another little video. Probably not going to be spending three hours painting shoes in the next one, but um, I might get creative soon. <laughs> it will probably be a vlog or something. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Bye guys.